First of all, John, welcome home. Uh, how's it been being back in the country after all those years abroad? Yeah, it's been good and sort of still like a holiday uh, because I've only been back a week getting over the jet lag and that. But um, no, the people up here, Central Coast, have looked after me really well and plus the club, Mariners, have been brilliant with me and, uh, and they're looking after me and um, helping me settle in. How long has this deal been in the works? We know a lot of clubs are in the, in the running for your services. How long were you and the Mariners talking for? Well, for quite a while now, I said that I'd like to come back home and play in the A-League. Um, you know, it was always an interesting option to come back to a league that was getting stronger each year and, and try and help you know, the league progress and make an impact. And um, five months ago, I was sort of talking to a few clubs and showing that I was interested in coming back. And, it didn't happen until uh, a couple of weeks ago with uh, the Mariners and you know they, uh, they made it uh, their intention to get me and they showed how much they wanted me. I've been told that Sydney FC chairman Andrew Kemeny was ringing your phone as late as the day before you signed for the Mariners. How hard was it to ignore that pressure and that attention from Sydney FC? Well at the time my mind was made up so uh, you know, I uh, agreed with the Mariners and um, look, you know, what happened with Sydney, I'd rather not get into. That's, uh, that's in the past. I'm a Mariners player now and, uh, and, you know, I wish Sydney all the best because everyone knows that uh, Sydney need to do well for the league to, to do well because of a big city and, uh, and, you know, the fans are, well, they were great on the weekend and hopefully they get even more fans for the next game, but I'm more worried about the Mariners now. Now you said on your arrival that you're a little bit nervous ahead of your A-League debut because now your dad gets to watch you play because he couldn't see you play in Spain a lot because of the coverage here. But what's he had to say so far? Um, no, he saw the game the other day and he said that uh, for my first game after so long he was quite in happy with. But uh, of course he was disappointed about the result as much as I was. And uh, you know he wants to see not only myself do well but the team. and. Um, no, it's good to you know, you know hear that he's watching, and uh, you know he can also give me uh, some advice sometimes. And uh, no, I'm I'm happy to play back at home and play in front of my family. Now, have you looked at the fixture list? January 19, in particular, that's you up against your brother Ross. It's a home fixture at Blue Tongue Stadium, Mariners versus Wellington. What's that going to be like? It's going to be uh, quite an experience. Um, I've never played against my brother. Uh, Played with him in the younger days, um, of course played against him in the backyard, but um, as a professional never played against him and looking forward to it, you know, it should be a, a good game and I'm sure that, uh, you know, he'll be looking forward to it as much as me. You said in a documentary once that the one thing you miss most about Australia is uh, one of the more popular food choices here. You said you missed the good old Australian meat pie. Have you had a chance to have one yet? I used to missed that quite a bit because uh, over in Spain you know you couldn't just go down to the local deli and get a meat pie but um, here I'll be able to do that. This is not I guess the training plan at the moment? Yeah well I'm <laughs> I have to watch what I eat at the moment but uh, yeah I'm just uh, I'm just happy to be back home and, and when I do get the chance I can have a meat pie.